present the award to our fourth inductee tonight. Let's welcome him back, Neil Mopé. And I should say about our newest inductee then into the Hall of Fame, he was instrumental in the club's promotion to the third division in the 1977. 78 season and after three and a half years spent at, at the club, he scored 65 goals in 157 appearances. Please welcome to the stage, Steve Phillips. Talking to you all lot here now, the airs are going on the back of my neck because this was special. And there isn't a club like this in the country. And I play for quite a few clubs. I came here in 78, 77. We were bottom of the football league. We looked like we made a lot of business. And the manager at the time was a fellow called Bill Dodgy. We never did set plays, we never did throw ins, we just went out and played. And we actually had a fantastic time. We went, and let me say this to you lads as well. Mix with your supporters, because today I didn't realise how much I was appreciated by the supporters today. Yeah. And I haven't spent a penny, so you can't <laughs> be. Okay? So thank you very much. partnership we had with Andy McCulloch. That was so pivotal, obviously, to getting us promoted. You scored 32, 32 I should say, league goals. That has never been bettered by a Brentford player in the season. That is incredible. In fairness, um, the season started and I was playing. I don't know where I was playing, to be fair. <laughs> you, you, were, you were I weren't up front. No, no, no. exactly. You still scored we, we had a left winger called Dougie Alder. Yeah. We had Golden Sweets here and Andy McCulloch up front. And to this day, I don't know where I'll play. <laughs> I think, I think Bill does sign me for the... Be fair, Bradley Walsh was at the club at the time. <laughs> and he wasn't that good, but he tells everyone he was <laughs> Bill does said we're going to sign Bradley Walsh because he's good for the dressing room spirit. But I don't know. We sold sweets to Cambridge, and I went up front with Andy for the last 12 games of the season. And we just clicked. So that's, that's, that's how it started. And it was just fortunate that we just hit it off. And we, I think in the last 12 games, we won 10 out of 12 we got the Wow. Okay. Thank you. Here, 
Someone's asked me to take a picture with me and him, and if you can, because because he's got a lot of goals this season, obviously I scored one or two. And this lady here, I'll see him play today, and he works his socks off. Oh, yeah. he I hope he stays here, but everyone thinks the grass is greener, and I, I used to play with a lad called Pat Cruz, and they all, all these will remember Pat Cruz, and Pat Cruz, we said, in them days, Pat Cruz drove down from Itchy, me, Dave Cole, and Barry Sacco drove down from Northampton, and we used to sit in the pub, <laughs> after training, and before training somewhere, and we sit there, and Pat Cruz got offered a contract somewhere, and Cruz says to me, I'm getting £50 a week or somewhere else, which is a lot of money in, in the 70s. I said to Cruzy, Pat, why do you want 50 quid more? I said, you leave it Jim. If it's snowy, you turn around and go home. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it's a no-brainer. In Northampton, we spent more time running around having some park in Northampton than we did training down here. <laughs> because that was how it was. You know, and the grass ain't green. You all go, you all look at other clubs and you think, this, this, this club now is established as a championship side. This club now, Needs a little push, and you never know what's going to happen. And you are that close to getting into the Premiership. When you get the